especially with that, it's time. Like, it's like it's a beginner basketball player. That's the analogy I'm going to use. I can't expect when I first pick up a ball to go out there and be who I am today or who I became as a player. So it's kind of like with your mental health, you can't go into a therapy session with a life coach, uh, whatever you're going to get help at, and think that one time you're going to hit a home run or, you know, hit a game-winning shot. So it's kind of like it, it's, it's hard. And I wouldn't tell people that it's easy because I'm in full transparency. It's, it's hard getting to know yourself and understanding yourself. As athletes, we're told who we are 100% of the time. Yeah. And, like, when I started really realizing, like, with my mental health, I didn't know who I was. I know what, what I can do. I, I knew who I was for as people to, hey, man, you, you such and such and, this is what you, I remember watching, all I knew is what other people planted in my head. I never thought, I never was like, who am I? Mm -hmm. And you know, I do uh, meditation now with uh, Dr. Have you heard of Deepak? Yep. Yeah. He has like meditation videos and I love him because he has like a seven minute meditation video. And it was like, who are you? Who am I? Repeat your name. And I think it's so important because as athletes, we, we consider cocky, but we're very insecure extremely insecure to the point where we don't have other people in the arena telling us who we are, we're lost. And that's something that made me really focus on. I need to figure out, like, I know what I'm good. I know my characteristics. I know my pedigree as a person, but like, who am I? Mm -hmm. 